Down out, chaps, got a short, sweet NU battle here. It's another back to watch battle. This is my man, Robotnik is sexy. So, as you can see by our teams, we're pretty interesting team player. I mean, you've got Arbok and Torkoal and like Chinchino, Superior, uh, my model of Pony. I've got like, I've got Mantine from last game. I've also got all three Sino starters. Well, not Infernape and Napoleon, but because they're higher tier, but that was a complete accident. So, anyway, it's going to start with Torkoal, which is absolutely amazing for me because I'm going to start off with Mantine. I'm going to go for the Life Orb, like, modded spot, Max Special Attack, Hydro Pump. I'm going to take out that Torkoal. One turn, one hit wonder, which is fan fucking tastic. I'll go further. It's mantastic. That's what it is. And that's really good because that's going to prevent him from setting up the Stealth Rock. So that's pretty good for Mantine and Infezin. And also the other guys don't really want to take, you know, energy damage. So he's going to set up Chinchino. going to kill me off the tail slap. I didn't really want to switch out because then he would have killed something else. And Mantine, that Mantine did very well, though, because it took, Mantine's very cool. Anyway, but it's not Monferno, that's its name. It's not Monferno, Sun Wukong, and I thought that was a pretty funny and, like, you know, pretty funny and clever nickname because, you know, I have an Infernape called Wukong, and you could count Monferno as, like, the son or daughter or offspring of Infernape, so that's why it's called Sun Wukong. And also, because there's, like, a... Chinese mythology legend thing called Sun Wukong. So I thought that was a very clever nickname because I'm a very witty person. <laughs> These jokes are wasted on you, aren't they? God damn it. Anyway, so I'm going to go for the 500 of the tower, I'll get the burn axe, and I call that because I predict the future, and that's amazing. So, anyway, I think I'll go for a bulk up here when he's going to switch out into his low punny, and I was like, well, that's fair enough because you have three bulk ups, and I'm. I'm thinking I can get to plus six and maybe go on a little sweep with my uh, son of Wukong. So I'm going to go for another bulk up. And this was actually a mistake, as you will see in a brief second, when I go for the map punch on the low pony. And it's actually only going to do about half. And he's going to go for the healing wish. Which made me go, no. Don't you fucking dare. No, not again, because, you know, he had a gigalith last game. Last time we battled. And that thing oh, it was an annoyance. And he's going to bring it back to life. He's going to bring Arbok back to life. Because Gigalith was a cock. And now Arbok is a cock. Well, it actually does look kind of... Uh, it fits the cockage uh, imagery. Because it's got a bit of a slender body, you know, for a penis. And it's also got, like, a little round, like, intimidation thing for its belly. And let's just change the subject. I can't change the subject because I've got penises thrown through my mind. Which is not great for my sexuality. It's actually threatening it. So... Anyway, I'm going to go for a five, which I hope for the burn again. I'm not going to get it, which is absolutely sucky. And I'm going to give it away, quite simply, because he's actually... See, I was being a snake. He's actually going to sweep my team, because he's going to be able to take... Because of that one mistake, like, I was dominating the... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, wild cough attack appeared. Give me a second. Mm. I felt great. But anyway, he's going to sweep my entire team because that one bulk up misplay, which could have cost me because I could have gone for the fire punch to do some damage to the low pony, but then again, it probably would have lived the, the map punch afterwards, and yeah, it, 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 probably that wasn't really a great misplay, but he kind of outplayed and, you know, kind of beat me, and that was fair, fair, fair deal, so it's really unfortunate, but it happens. I mean, it happens. I mean,. Our box pretty sound poke, and it really needs to get more usage. I, I, I need to actually make one myself. So, yeah, props to him for using the R box because I really do like myself with like R box. I prefer Weezing though in terms of the Team Rocket duo because Weezing is just a cooler Pokemon in general. I think because it, and I say that, but it, it's pretty. Ear and coughing aren't really great. I don't say that, but it's actually really cool. What am I talking about? Absolute bullshit. Uh, but anyway. Gonna set up Swallow now, thinking I can take an earthquake, then go for the yawn. So at least I know if he wants to kill Swallow, he'll go to sleep, and then I can like deal with it, kind of, with a um, pheasant or or maybe a special attacker actually, like um, Prince Blood. But he's gonna kill Crumpets on one hit, which makes me very cross. So I'm gonna stand out Mr. Flibbles very cross. Now it's not called Mr. Flibbles the Penguin because I've already got an Napoleon called Mr. Flibbles, so I called this one very cross. And it does make me very cross, because he kills me one hit, no crit, and I was like, what? Which is, uh, anyway. I wish Primplup had the, uh, typing, you know, the steel typing, because then I'll fuck this guy over, but no, I should have brought a steel type, but, yeah, I'm shit at team building, so, 
I'm thinking I'm not going to take the sucker punch, and I actually do, which is amazing. So I'm just going to go for the return. I was like, come on, get the crit, get the crit, get the crit. Wow, that did a lot of damage, because I thought I was, I, me and him, both me and him thought that was super look damage, like super look boosted return, but it did a lot. That's what, Choice Bandit and Pheasant's pretty powerful chap, so I recommend you try it out, because he's, and Pheasant's a pretty sound Pokemon. Unfortunately, it doesn't get Brave Bird, which is, as I said, unfortunate, but I think Unpheasant's a pretty decent, it's got some pretty cool, um, other options, like, you know, Hypnosis, it's got Wish, it's got Roost, so I might make a bulk in Pheasant set. And it's actually got reasonable bulk as well, as you can see by the fact that it took like a plus three slash plus four uh, Sucker Punch. And that's not that's not bad. I mean, it's not a stab, but it's still not bad. So, anyway, that was a short, sweet game. I hope you all enjoyed. Good job. Good job. Good game, Robot Like a Sexy. Please check him out and get yeah, his, his voice. There's a link down in the description. Hope you enjoyed the narrations as of late. I've been trying to like make them a bit more lively because I think uh, narrating in the afternoon is so much more better for me. So, yeah, hopefully they've not been too bizarre because I think they have been a bit bizarre, but whatever. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe if you like. Uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe if you want to. Obviously, make the right choice. That's a really shit slogan, but you're not watching this bit anyway, are you? You're probably closed off halfway through thinking, this guy's getting his anus raped. Oof, I didn't know what I wanted. I've seen a bit, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna go sit down, drink some like Lucas Eight, not Lucas. That's even that's, that's bad. I'm gonna go sit down and drink some like knockout juice or something. But anyway, see.